Hey, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and I'm here with my fourth installment of my FL690 CO2 laser setup. Um, in, this, in this video, we're going to be talking about um, smoke extraction from the bed. We're going to be using several parts, um, hook that up to the bottom of the bed, have it run out the back, and yeah, e evacuate that, uh, that smoke. So stay tuned. All right, here we are with our components. What we're going to need is the uh, blower motor that came with your machine. We're gonna have a little bit of duct working here. We've got three band clamps. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver or a, um, um, or a common, it doesn't really matter, whichever. You're also going to need the giant six inch tubing, uh, the, the rubber style tubing. This is gonna be on the outside of the machine. This is gonna be the inside of the machine. And all right, here we are on the back of the uh, machine. This is our door panel. This is the back side of the door panel. Um, we're going to have our six inch tubing going right in there. And of course, band clamped on there. Then of course, getting down here, you'll find that there's actually two six inch ports. We're going to use this bottom one to make sure all the suction comes right out the bottom. But I will be researching a little upgrade, which will, in a Y adapter of some sort, that we can pull from both of these places into the Y and evacuate it. Apparently these, uh, there's holes there in the back, you can see them from there. Um, they run along the, uh, the perimeter of the bed. And of course this piece right here is the part that goes up and down. So what we want is as much smoke evacuation as possible, so I'm going to tie into both of them eventually. But for now, we're just going to hook it up as, as, uh, as stock. All right, we're going to take our... Go. Looks like... I'm use some of this. Go ahead and stretch out some of it, get it out of our way. And I'm going to go ahead and run the tubing. Put my band clamp on there. All right, that's not going anywhere. So now I can stretch the rest of this out. It doesn't have to go far, so I'm not going to stretch the entire thing. And remember, just like every other, I'm just going to follow the same rules. Have as few 90 degree angles as possible. So there's no need to stretch out the entire thing since the door is like right there. So we're going to hook the door up real close. And we're going to put a band clamp on here. Stretch it out just far enough. We can get it on there. There we go. We are all set. So, I'm going to slowly push the, uh, push the hose back together. As I'm sliding it on, we should have a really nice, clean interface from the back of the door right into the back of the, uh, into the bottom of the bed. So yeah. All right, here I am with the back. I've got my blue tubing here. Uh, my chiller is going to sit literally right where I'm sitting. So I just unplugged it and pushed it off or lifted it over to the side carefully, not unplugging any tubes. But whenever I'm done with that, I'm gonna run the, uh, run it back over here and we're gonna hook this up. So if I were you, go ahead and leave your chiller over here and hook up this right in front of it. I'm going to be disconnecting it and, dis and putting it so that the, uh, the chiller or this tube runs just in front of the chiller or just behind the chiller, I'm sorry. So we've got our, our hose in there. We'll go ahead and put our band clamp on there. All right, we got that attached and here's the reason why. So what I'm going to do is whenever I'm running my machine, I'm going to have this a uh, single garage door open, and I may even, in the winter here, I may even put some boards or something to fill up the space. But essentially this uh, blower motor is going to be sitting right here and blowing right out the corner. Um, that should get the smoke out. Um, I will be concerned about getting some uh, smoke damage or whatnot, so I'm going to very quickly be remedying this situation. But for now, we're just going to get started. Um, we'll run a couple test cuts. And of course, here's where the fourth band clamp comes in. 
I can't clamp this to the to the machine. So for now, I am just going to set it there. I don't have extra six inch, um, so I'm just going to set it there for now. Run a few tests. All right, here we are. We've got our machine all hooked up. Um, have uh, just sitting there for now. There is no switch on this device, so when you plug it in, it immediately starts up. We're going to test it just to make sure that it uh, runs just like we did with our chiller. We're going to go straight into power, and this is going to get really loud, so hold on. I can actually feel the air flowing through, so there is definitely a down draft right on the bed, which is good. Our second port plugs in right here and it pulls air from here. So whenever the bed is lowered, um, you'll have some suction right there as well as the suction going through the bottom. So we'll have to play with that later. I've got it unplugged and that'll quiet it down a moment and what we've got here is we've got our blower line I'm gonna go ahead and plug them into the uh, spots we want them so I'm gonna put let's see I'll put the blower right here in the middle and I'll put the chiller right here on the right side make sure that's all plugged in deep then we're going to uh, next up for we'll reserve that for our uh, for our air pump. All right, there we go. We have it all hooked up. We have the uh, our downdraft table going. Sucks out all the smoke. It's going to go outside. Um, we've got it all plugged up to the back of the machine. And next up in our next video, we're going to be talking about um, the air pump, and this will help evacuate all the uh, debris and such from the uh, tip of the laser. Um, this is Daniel, and as always, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.